Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to take a ride in Esoteric Cloud and reach higher, wider and wiser spaces of reality so you can have wider and wiser perceptions about yourself and your own circumstances. Thank you very much for being here. Your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions. A whole bunch of individuality, responsibility and creativity as well. So, what are we here ready to talk about today? Your reality as a spirit, okay? So, to start this video, we have to understand something that is we live in a real world, right? That's a fact. But you don't just live in this world, okay? Because you, for starters, have your own internal world. So by default, you are always living in two worlds, the external world and the internal world, right? And then there is many, many worlds, uh, perhaps uh, besides this world, as in physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as well, right? But the thing is, we are living in this one right now. So all those other worlds don't really matter, okay? This world and your own world, internally speaking, are the ones that really matter, right? But because we live in a real world, we have to be real as well. Especially when it comes to understanding, knowing, being wise about our surroundings, understand what's going on and why, what's the reason and the purpose, and then apply the same to our own internal realm, okay? So, what is your role or what is your purpose as a, a spirit, right? What is your reality as a spirit, okay? So, in the first place, you create your reality. That's a fact. But many people, especially on the conscious community, they get lost in that, in that concept because they don't understand that if you create your reality and I create my reality, but we are all in the same reality, that means that you and I and everybody else here, we created this reality together. So many people then get lost in their own internal realm, in their own perspective of reality, aka in their own reality. But the thing is, we are in a common reality as a spirit, and that's our reality as a spirit. We're sharing this, right? Because we have to achieve a balance point between your inner reality, your unique individual perspective, and the reality, the reality, that, that's why we call it the reality. It's not one reality, it's a kind of absolute, a, as in general, reality, okay? So, <coughs> as a spirit that creates and shares spaces with other spirits, you have to have a real mind and some real imaginations because we live in a real world and we share it with others and we create it with others. And something is not real just because you see that thing or you feel about that thing. And, uh, okay, so something is not real just because you see that in that way or you feel about it in that way. So, you have to have a look around you and see, test it, if your beliefs and imaginations are represented in your surroundings, okay? Physically or mentally or through what people talking about and paying attention to. If that happens, if your beliefs and imaginations are indeed reflected in your surroundings, that means that you, as a spirit, and the other spirits around you, are agreeing in imaginations and creations because that's how you create something. You imagine it first and then you spend long enough time imagining it and giving feelings, thoughts and actions to it and then it becomes really real, right? So, if you are seeing 
your internal things, your beliefs and your ideas reflected in the world, that means you and the spirits of the world or that specific space are agreeing because you can imagine and believe whatever you want. But if the spirits around you do not see it in that way and work together with you, it will never be real. It will never be or reality will never be like you imagine or believe it, it to be. And why am I drifting off to this point here? Because the conscious community and the quote-unquote woke spiritual community, they suffer a lot from this. They see the world based on their feelings, based on their imaginations, based on their concepts, all right? And they give attributes, they give power, they give imaginations to some things that don't even make sense, right? One example is astrology. Astrology is a great example for this. Because astrology suffers from subjective misinterpretations. When somebody gives their own attributes to a planet. Oh, because I see it in that way, so it's true. No, it's not true. Okay? For And I have two reasons to, give, uh, uh, to justify my point. First is, those planets were created by specific types of spirits. So they have specific attributes. They have specific reasons to be. So it's not because you believe or you feel a certain way about the planet, specifically speaking. You can apply this to other cases. But it's not because you believe that planet is a certain way or that planet is associated with this or that, that that's the reality, right? And what is the title of this video? Your reality as a spirit. That's the, one of the most important things to do with your three powers, faith and belief, creativity, imagination, and then your spiritual responsibility. The first thing you should do in a space is understand it. Be aware of it. Be aware of you in that space and what you can, can't do, or potentially can or can't do in that space. Because if you randomly attribute a power or influence to a planet, let's say you think Venus is about war and conflict, you will misunderstand the spirits around you. you and those will misunderstand you and will manifest a lot of shit that you don't even know where it's coming from. All right? So, and, that's, and that, all ha all, that, that all is true because first, the planets were created by specific group of spirits, specific soul groups. So they have specific attributes, they have specific patterns, they create specific influences. So you can just attribute something that you feel like is that way, okay? Then second, okay, there is a lot of study, <coughs> or there is and there was a lot of study and culture around astrology and that subject, right? And uh, the whole world live under a system based on astrology, right? Why do you have 12 months and 12 zodiac signs? Why do you have 7 planets and 7 days? Why do you have 24 hours? Because there is 12 houses, 12 celestial gates, and you... you keep tracking of the sun, it takes two hours for the sun to pass, us, to pass through each space. So then 12 versus, uh, not versus, 12 times 2, 24, all right? So, if that system works for a very long time, at least two to 4,000 years, and it works basically in like 90% of the world, that means that whoever created those names and titles, aka Venus, the name, title, the god of love or relationships, whoever created that, whoever has the intellectual property of those titles, they knew what they were doing. They knew that Venus was influencing people in a certain way. 
so you can just believe that Venus is the planet of war because you feel in a certain way. No, okay? And many people in the spiritual community, they'd be like, oh, I don't believe with you or I don't believe what you're saying because I see it in that way. And they, they are not even trying to be real. They're not even trying to understand the reason, the pattern and the reality of the circumstances, right? Somebody uh, says like, oh, like you say that Monday is Monday and somebody be like, no, the day of the moon is on Thursday and I see it in that way. So you can tell me I'm wrong. Bro, I can't tell you you're wrong because you are wrong because there is a reason why somebody called Monday to that specific day. There is a reason for that. It's, you know, and, and that's a great example to, to summarize and resume the topic of this video, right? Is like, yes, you do have your individual perspective. Yes, you do have your own reality as a spirit, but as a spirit living in this world, physically, we share realities. So you need to understand that we all together created the concept of Venus. So it's not up to you now to just, oh, I, I feel actually Venus is the planet of logical communication. So that's what I believe. And you can't tell me I'm wrong because I have my own vision. No, because once upon a time, you as a spirit created that concept. So you are actually betraying yourself. You are actually contradicting yourself when you refuse to accept a reality that you helped create. You know what I'm saying? So, to summarize, I'm gonna read my script over here to get everything clear. And it might have some mistakes and stuff like that because it was a script and then I adapted it to the video, but let me read it to you. Understand that as a spirit that shares spaces and creates with other spaces, aka spirits, you have to have a real mind and real imaginations. Something is not real just because you see it in that way or because you believe in it. As an observer, you have to look around. You, you, you have to look around you and see if your beliefs and imaginations are represented in your surroundings. If that happens, that means that you and the spirits around you agree in imaginations and creations. Because you can imagine and believe whatever you want, but if the spirits around you do not see it in that way and they don't work together with you, it will never be like you imagine or believe it to be. Plus, astrology suffers a lot from subjective misinterpretations because people miss to realize two important things. First, the planets were created by spirits with different and specific intentions and vibrations. So you can just give random attributes to the planets that come purely from your imaginations and belief. Second, there was and still is a heavy amount of investigation and study in those areas. And the whole world lives under an astrological system. Seven days, 12 months, 24 hours, seven days, seven planets, 12 months, 12 houses, 12 signs, 24 hours equals to 2 hours per space, 2 hours per house, 12 times 2, 24. So if that, is, if that system works in such a large scale and for such a long period of time, at least from two to 4,000 years, that means that the creators and upholders of those names, titles and meanings already existing for example, Venus equals love, relatability, commitment, and the exchange of information, values, energy, body fluids, etc. Whoever created that got at least something right. Otherwise, they will never be able to influence and control 99% of the world. So you, yes, you have to realize you have your own idea, you have your own reality, but then that needs to make sense. That need to come together and agree with the reality you live in. So stop projecting your random ass ideas, your random ass spiritual belief systems without making it make sense, without making it really come true, okay? And that's why many people in the spiritual society do not find success, they do not, they do not share well their content, they are misleading people, they are leading spirits to lostness, 
and I will never lead a spirit to lostness because I'm always looking to bring clarity and be really, really real because that's the main thing that the spiritual community, the woke community, that's the main thing it's missing, some real shit, okay? Because many people just be talking about La La Land. Just, some people just be talking out of their imaginations. They're not even talking about the world that we live in right now, okay? And you have to be aware of your own response, of your own reality as a spirit. Thank you very much for watching, and i see you next time. As a Terry Cloud Surfer, surfing out.